Oh, they're really trying to keep that Weezing on the field, huh? Bug? Weezing turned into a fly, dude. Okay. Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports. Welcome to the VGC about some regulation app video bringing you Excadrill. Somehow it's gotten this long and I haven't used this stupid thing yet. And that's honestly impressive. Like, I, le I legitimately thought Excadrill was gonna be like one of the first Pokemon that I was gonna use ever since it was introduced, but for some reason, I used things like War Turtle before it. <laughs> but sometimes that's just how things things roll, you know? Now, thank you so much, Omen, also known as Yarl Omen on Discord, for going ahead and posting this team in the Pokesports Discord. It looks like an absolute blast to play. Like, you got everything that you actually need, right? You got your Extra Drill, you got your T-Tar, you got your Assault Vest with the Fairy Tear on the T-Tar, you got your Extra Drill with Swords Dance, Focus Session, Sand Rush, with Iron Head to knock out the Flutters, and High Horsepower to knock out the Raging Bolts. Also, we got double Rage Powder users on this team with the Amoongus that everyone started to love again on the team, rocking the Rocky Helmet to deal with those Watershes, and then we have Volcarone on the team as well with the Flame Body, again, to also deal with those physical Pokemon while also having the Rage Powder Tailwind and Struggle Bug to deal with these special attacking Pokemon. Speaking of supports, we actually have a lot of them on this team. I would argue that there are four supportive Pokemon on this team. Excadrill and Titar as your damage dealers. That's pretty much all you got. We have the Fridge Wrap here on this team with your Imprisoned Trick Room while also holding the Psychic and Dazzling Gleam as it's two stabs. Dazzling Gleam being the stab if you terrestrialize with the Safety Goggles to deal with those. Say it with me. Amoongus. And also, Gyarados is here with Intimidate, with Waterfall, with Helping Hand T-Wave. Trying to get some para flinches. This is also very convenient to have with the T-Tar because you're able to go for some T-Waves followed by the waterfall for the para flinch and also you can have T waves followed by the rock slides followed by the waterfall if you have both of them on the field at the same time for the extra para flinches. We'll see what happens in today's video. If you guys are excited to see what the heck extra drill is going to do on the channel, hit the like button below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. All right, that's set. Let's get on though. Today's video up against Juju rocking the Haxorus. Haxorus and Hisuian Arcanine with the Blurs Ogre Pun. Triple Grass, actually. Blurse, Ogre Pond, Amoongus, and Wimmy. All right. Not, not a big fan of the Ogre Pond or the Wim. But you know what? It's nothing I don't think I can't handle, right? Gyarados should be pretty decent into the Ogre Pond. I definitely want to bring Gyarados to this matchup. But so can... So can our friend Amoongus. I don't think they have Trick Room, even though they do have a Blurse on this team. Unless it's like a Trick Room win. Which it could be. I also have to be a little bit cautious about their Intimidator as their lead, too. So I just have a bunch of physical Pokemon on my side of the field. But granted, I have Swords Dance, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. I'll tell you what, I'll, I won't lead with Titar, I'll lead with Excadrill. I might do Excadrill plus Sunburst here. Meh. It wouldn't be the greatest into the Hisuian Arcanine. I have Water Terror though. And I do have Tailwind, so I might reconsider my decision. Well, this seems like the appropriate four here. Intimidate's gonna be big. Intimidate's gonna be huge. Intimidate's gonna be necessary for this matchup. But it can kind of go either way, right? All right, Juju. Juju also has a photo with a T-Tar. Okay, look at you. All right, Wim's gonna lead. Did I bring T-Tar to this matchup? God, I hope I did. Okay, yeah, I did. We're good. We're fine. All right. Uh, they probably protect here against me if I had to guess. I think I don't waste any time. I just attack this Whimsicott. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm attacking Whimsicott here. They might set up Tailwind, or they might attempt the Trick Room. I mean, leading with the Blurs kind of screams, Hey, I want a Trick Room against you. Oh, they're, they're going for the Terror right away, too. Normal Terror right away. Not wasting any time here, but Struggle Bug should help us out. Hopefully. Oh, they're just Tailwinding. Are they just like a speedy Blurs? Hold up. Yeah! Wow, okay, speedy blurs. Interesting. With life orb on top of it all. All right. Well, here's an iron head. Got rid of you in one shot, actually. 
And I'm happy that I'm gonna get one singular struggle bug off. Decent damage, but the special attack drop is huge. Do they go in with Sui and Arcanine now? They can't terrestrialize anymore, so that's good news for me. I'll sit here and take that. Unfortunately, I can't terrestrialize away from their normal type damage because of Mind's Eye. Oh, Haxorus is coming out. Alright. I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to click Protect. I think I want to attempt to match, but we'll see. Works for me. Let's see if the hacks just decides to go for EQ. Probably does. Yeah, just a straight up EQ here. All right, this should knock out my my moth, unfortunately. Could have maybe terrestrialized this, but I didn't think it was worth it in the end. Oh, we living though. Woo, we living though. Volcarona doesn't even care about your EQ, friend. Look at that defense. Yeah, Papa Berry, A eaten, and Tailwind set up. So, guess whose speed just got matched? Ours. All right, now we're going to swap in our extra drill, send out the Gyarados. And we just keep on struggle bugging like it's nobody's business. Hopefully, they're not clear amulet on this Haxorus, but they could be. It's a very pl plausible thing for them to be. Overall, I think I think we're in a pretty decent spot. With the Blurse at negative one, presumably about to be a negative two. The Gyarados switching in. We are making defensive plays, but they are stopping their offense, right? This is a stronger defense than their offense at this point. Alright, thankfully no clear amulet. To be seen on the Haxorus. Nice little intimidate on both sides. Oh, they hit me back with the intimidate. I see. Burn them. 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 Bow burn them. Bow burn them. Come on. Nah, not today. Maybe next time. All right, good news is there are now a negative two blurs. I'm a negative one uh, Gyarados, but they're also a negative one Haxorus. So I guess this is fair. Volcarona will be going down here. But I believe the damage is done. Yeah, I think it's Excadrill time. I think now that the blurs is negative two, I don't have much to worry about. So it's hard swap going to our T-Tar. I hate that high horsepower is more damage right now. Because I hate that I have to go for it, but I'm going to go for it. Wish me luck. Cheers. Let's see what happens. All right, even they're confused as to what to do. I mean, in all honesty, if they click EQ Protect again, that'd be worst case scenario for me because I'm going into double ground types. And if I miss my my high horsepower above that all, that's even worse, worse for me. We're connecting, baby. No, you gonna oh pause. We're fine. Never mind, we're not fine. We lost extra drill. Even at negative two, that's enough to knock extra drill. That is nuts. But hey, we got a T-Tar though. We got a T-Tar. They're running out of Tailwind this turn. I still got a whole turn left. So Dem's some pretty good odds. Haxorus is also going down. What is their last? If their last is Arcanine, I am giddy. I am ecstatic. I am happy. And they're also locked onto negative two on this Blurse now. And I still have a whole Citrus Berry to proc on this Gyarados. I'm feeling pretty good. Excadrill ain't do much, but hey, it knocked out a Whimsicott, I guess. It's a Mungus. I have Taunt, I have Taunt, I have Taunt, we're fine. Woo, thank God I have Taunt. If I didn't, we would have been in big trouble. Well, here's the thing, though. A Mungus can't win the game on its own. All right, I'm going to switch to Fairy Terra so I don't get Earth Power at all, heck. And we're just going to taunt this stupid Shroom. Everyone should carry a Taunt in their team because a Mungus is becoming a lot more popular nowadays. It got so many high placings at so many recent regionals. Alright, T-Tar's in love. 
Want some of that blurs? They're gonna protect. Trying to stall out my last turn of Tailwind. Fair enough. They're gonna take some Sand Chip though. Ooh, the double protect. Okay. Interesting. That means they see the taunt. I'm still gonna go for the taunt though. I don't, I don't think I go for anything else. Quite literally anything else. And then the exact two things that I'm gonna do right about now. Well, actually. Yeah, no, no. I think I still do the exact two things. Because they could still go for the redirect. Just to get something going with their Amoongus before inevitably go, uh, getting taunted. I was thinking about maybe going for a low kick, but that's not smart. I'm just going to go for the... Oh yeah, not, now I take sand damage. I'm just going to go for the spread move. Alright, my Tailwind Peters doesn't matter again. I don't know why. They protected for it. Maybe just so I receive some sand chip in return. I still taunt the Amoongus here every day of the week. You never not taunt an Amoongus. Even if you even if you know the Amoongus has mental herb, you just taunt it twice. <laughs> that's that's the resolution to the Amoongus. Alright, there's a taunt. My girl is actually outspeeding my T-Tar here. No mental herb. Rockside does connect on the bear, knocking out the bear. Now Amoongus, good luck doing damage. Unfortunately, wasn't able to struggle bug on the Among Us, but hey. We're able to do something. Oh, they do have Sludge Bomb, though. Okay. Fascinating. And they get the point. Oh, of course. Hold up. I still haven't won, guys. I somehow might still lose because of that. Because now I'm on a timer thanks to my own sand and that poison and that Among Us is protect. I hear beeping, that's a bad sign. Dang it, man. Listen, we're gonna flinch the Amoongus to death. Oh, they're not protect- Oh, they, they're throwing. They could've protected there and I would've been extra sad about it. But instead, they're giving me an opportunity here. I'm gonna knock off its berry before it gets the opportunity to proc. Oh, great damage! Yep, there's that berry! Nah, nah. Hold on, they're throwing. Oh, they're just trying to get- BROTHER, THEY'RE CRITTING ME! They didn't poison me though. Oh, if they crit poison there, man. If they crit poison there. I am gonna lose my T-Tar this turn though. Okay. I could've also just helping handed and then KO'd the Amoongus that turn, but... I honestly thought they were just gonna protect anyway. Doesn't matter in the long run. Alright. Running out of options here. Let's waterfall. The Amoongus can't win the game, hopefully, on its own. But the fact that it got this dang close is so sad. Holy GG, Amoongus. <laughs> Get it out of here. Oh, go away. All right, well, actually, Joe kind of knocked out uh, a Whimsicott. That's, that's neat, you know? <laughs> Sadly, he could have knocked out a Haxor that took a big chunk of health already out. So maybe I do just need the Sword Stance before actually doing any damage with this extra drill. Regardless, GG's. On to the next one. Up against Lucio, rocking the Reggie Gigas Weezing. Ugh. Gigas Weezing is rough only because I kind of rely a lot on my abilities here. But maybe if I could do like double redirection stuff against the Reggie Gigas, I can maybe make some things happen with Excadrill and like some sword stances here. I don't hate those four. I don't hate those four at all. Gyarados would also be really nice into their Ogre Pond, maybe. Yeah, so maybe I do Gyarados instead of Sunburst over here. Let's do that. I think Gyarados is too good to let go. It's also my only way into Ogre Pond, right? I can go into Gyarados and pretty much be safe from anything Ogre Pond throws at me, but also, I won't be able to hit Ogre Pond with anything in return. It's gonna be a little bit awkward to face that Ogre Pond, but at least I have the Intimidates going. Ogre Pond still can't deal with- oh! Ogre Pond's leading. Okay. Well, this could be bad. 
kind of depends. I think I should be going for a Rage Powder plus... I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to spore on Weezing and click protect for now. I am not gonna overthink this. I can't rage powder away the Ogre Pond's attacks while it still remains a grass type. And they're definitely going for that Excadrill spot. They see it, they know it. They wanna go for it, I get it. Willowis, they wanna burn it too, they wanna do everything to it. Well that's why you're going to bed now! Now this next turn, what I can do is start going for high horsepowers on this thing. Let's palm puff into my Excadrill. Uh, do we burn Ghost Terra? It'll make us neutral to Horn Leech. I don't see why not. Let's go for it. Let's see if we get this wheezing out of here. It's asleep. So either they follow me to keep it around, or they just get rid of it now. I'll let them make that decision. I wouldn't mind a free palm, pl uh, palm puff plus a free high horsepower on that ogre pond. I'd probably do like around 30-ish percent, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take any free damage here. Oh, they're also to I can rage powder it now, okay. Works for me. Oh, they're really trying to keep that wheezing on the field, huh? Bug? Wheezing turned into a fly, dude, okay. That's one way to be immune to ground or resistant to ground, I guess. Well then. I have a control Moongus. Okay. Maybe predicting the T-Tar swap, but why would I need a T-Tar swap? <laughs> Dude's a bug, man. Alright. Well, this is awkward. I'm gonna palm puff the ogre pond now. And then just switch over to Iron Heads, I guess. I gotta do damage to this Weezing while I can. They bug tear their Weezing just to keep it around, really? Is my extra drill that threatening? Okay, that's a nice little 2-hit KO there. Never mind, oh my goodness. Alright, Ivy Cudgel into my extra drill this time. I'm gonna do so much damage. Weezing wakes and it's gonna burn me. Oh, never mind. We're good. We're fine. Nothing bad's happening here. Decent damage on the Ogre Pond. Nice little crit there. We'll take that. Alright, now we uh, do it again. Sport. <laughs> and protect. We do not overthink. We go for the brainless Wee Woo plays. That's all we gotta do. I need the Weezing gone. Okay. Apparently they need the Weezing here. I just switched the extra drill out at this point, right? Problem is, nothing I have in the back wants to get burnt. So I have to Rage Powder this burn into the Amoongus. Or I guess it doesn't really matter if my Gyarados gets burnt. Let's swap into Gyarados. There's a lot worse things to get burnt than a Gyarados. Gyarados technically can't even hit this Ogre Pond. Okay, no Intimidates, unfortunately. Ivy Cudgel should be able to eat this well, though. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be a little bit better than that. And they do hit me with the burn. Okay. We have a Citrus to keep us alive a little bit longer after that burn. You're going back to bed. Okie dokie, all right, um... Okay, I'm honestly at the point where... I don't even care anymore about this week. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the Palm Puff on Ogre. I'm gonna T-Wave Ogre. They Horn Leech, fair enough, we're able to live it, break our Citrus, they're gonna get some health back. But now we introduce the Parachance. We also slow them down a little bit.
Now with the burn, I am gonna need to switch in one of my other Pokemon eventually. That's the new problem I'm encountering. Oh, that is some de decent damage though. Wonder if I helping hand boost the next pollen puff if it knocks out. Do we think it does? I wonder. It might. Helping hand boost the Amoongus Palm Puff. Let's do it, folks. What happens here? Wheezing wakes. Wheezing bombs. It's okay. They horn leech. We're out. I honestly, I'd rather have Gyarados goes out. Oh, but maybe thanks to the, the health, it's gonna live. What I really needed there was a para. Oh well, it's fine. Oh, it's so close! Alright, let's just go in and rock slide now. <laughs> let's just... Let's just keep this simple. We're gonna Rage Powder the Burn. We're gonna rock slide here. I also need to hope that I outspeed this Ogre Pond. I'm pretty sure I do. It's paralyzed. Man, this Weezing does not miss a single Willow, huh? Must be nice. Oh, come on! Okay, Weezing avoids. Fine, 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 fine. It would have been a lot worse if Ogre Pond avoided that and then Ivy cudgeled my T-Door. I'm gonna be real. It's just a little unfortunate that Brothers hit three 85% accurate moves and I miss one 90% accurate move the first time that I try it. Is Rockside 90? I hope it is. Oh, Gigas, man. Alright, yeah, we Rage Powder until the end of time. They protect Weezing every day of the week, so I'm just gonna Rage Powder and Low Kick, yeah. Next turn, I'll Rock Slide and Rage Powder. They have heat crash. Yikes, man. I heard by Rocky, Rocky Helmet. Okay, how much can the low kick do? That's the question. And life orb. Hold on. I think we can just knock it out with low kick. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's good. That's really good. Knocked out two of their very, very scary Pokemon. I have a whole extra drill and a full health T-Tar left. And T-Tar has 100%. Uh, super effective move against our brother Weezing. Not 100% accurate, though. Raging Bolt. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting thunderclapped because I decided to become normal Terra. I'm gonna greed. I'm gonna Source Dance. Just to scare him a little bit. They didn't thunderclap, though, so that's a little scary. What do they go for? They just, they're just snarling? Extra drill avoids! Hold, hold it. I'm scary now. Why didn't they thunderclap me? They should have done that a year ago. No, they're just willowing me because I'm slower. Oh my goodness. Can I hit any of these? Oh my goodness. <laughs> They haven't missed the Willow, by the way. I need this Weezing. Let me take this Weezing to the Orlando Regionals. Holy. Doesn't miss a single Willow. Dude, they're not thunderclapping? Come on. Why aren't they thunderclapping me? Do they not have it? There's no way they don't have it. There's no way. Should I just hide horsepower? Am I about to get played right now? I'm gonna hide horsepower the big scary one. And then rock slide again. Keep rock sliding. There's no way they haven't thunderclapped. Did they forget that I terrestrialized? I mean, it's clearly a, a giant ghost is on my head. 
Oh my goodness. I don't know what they're doing, but I don't mind. Do they not have Thunderclap? D burn me all you want. <laughs> it's a 2v1 now and I'm at plus two. Granted, don't burn me all you want, please. Cause now like I think two protects just wins them the game. Especially if I can't hit a stupid rocks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated. Okay, I live one more burn, thankfully. But holy cow. Okay, they're gonna protect, so I'm not gonna waste this turn. I'm clicking Swords Dance. Holy cow. This game is giving me gray hairs. I'm getting a gray beard right now. I hate that Rock Slide's my best move to use right now, too. It's like actually not even a question that it's my best move to use. All right. I'm at plus four now. And I have only one good turn. I, I actually, I went from 31 to 20. So I'll go to 11 and then one. I, I, okay, good. I get many chances to crack through this Pokemon. Like, I almost don't want to use it at this point. This, go, yeah, this is also neutral. I'm just going to go for it. I I think I'm just rock sliding. Uh, knocking off. I don't care anymore. Okay, Iron Head connects. We're fine. Yo, where was that Raging Bolt's, like, Thunderclap, though? Right? It had Snarl, but no Thunderclap. At least I think it didn't have Thunderclap. Hey, guys, we got, we got the sand up now. Oh, boy, we have sand stream. That was a weird game. Weird game. I feel like the Thunderclap would have like legitimately won them that game a year ago because I they, all they had to do was Thunderclap my extra drill and I would have died. But uh, I'm not the one complaining. GG's. Up against Ty. What you got, Ty? Okay, they got Expanding Horse, Rain, and Reggie Drago and Amongus. God. Good golly. Not a fun one. That's a fact. I have Fairy Terra T-Tar, so it's not like the end of the world. But it would be very annoying if they just... ...lead with anything other than rain right away. Especially if they do Expanding Horse. I think if I go with Bug Lead, plus Exadrill, bring T-Tar in the back, that's my best bet against them. And then I see an Amoongus, I bring a Gyarados. It's very simple, it's a very simple mathematic calculation. When you see a Moongus, you bring a taunt. When you don't see a Moongus, you consider not bringing the taunt. Honestly, I'm surprised I didn't use Frigiraffe more today, but I didn't go against any stupid e-speedy stuff, so... Kudos on the ladder for getting a little bit more creative. It's kind of sad that we have to- we have to use one. We have to ha have a slot on our team. Um, dedicated to anti-priority because of how crazy priority is right now. Like, how did Game Freak let priority get this bad? What's the point of speed tiers if priority exists? Alright, they go- they don't know what they're doing. They led with rain plus expanding force. Okay. Fascinating. I can turn that off, though. I don't know if I do! I'm gonna struggle bug and I'm just gonna heart swap in a T Tar because, like, why the heck not, right? Because I think the struggle bug is gonna be very nice. I guess I could have just overheated, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna, like, rain terror or something so they don't take a high horsepower. Them leading with the rain is, like, pretty much forcing that Pelipper out, but I'm pretty sure that Pelipper wants to be forced out anyway. Because they want the expanding force situation happening. But thankfully, T Tar's a dark type. So we should be good on that end. If they want to get real real, they'll go for like a focus miss on one of my two Pokemon. Come on, Clive, what you got? All right, Excadrill is going to swap out though. Because I'm trying not to be too predictable. Going into T-Tar, I mean, I guess that's a pretty safe person to go for a focus blast on is the Excadrill. All right, stands up. Withdraws Pelipper. Expected. They got a special attack booster, too. 
Okay, this will hurt. This will hurt my Volcarona. Do not get me wrong. But my goal is to make it not hurt so bad the next turn. All right, Expanding Force doesn't affect the Titar. Folks living, baby. Beautiful. Struggle Bug. Wonderful. Don't hurt so bad next turn, please. Okay, I uh, unfortunately, I don't crack my berry here. I'm going to struggle bug again. I'm going to my extra drill this time. Double swapping. I'd be stupid to keep my T-Tar on the field when they can just change the weather on me right now. Unfortunately, I don't have a piv pivot move on T-Tar, or else I could really guarantee this weather is mine next turn. But it's fine. Back in Escadrill. The Tachyon Cutter, we're fine. We're golden, dude. Tachyon who? Not me. Call the ambulance, but not for me. Struggle Bug again. You are not going to be a Pokemon soon. Now this is just more turns stalling for my uh, Eapapa Berry to proc. Perfect. I need more chip damage. 69, eh? Is that not a Papa yet? I guess not. Okay. All right. Well, we keep struggle bugging. And we greed. Oh, yeah. We just swords dance here. I got to wait for them to send the Pelper out so that I can send my T-Tar out. I got the sand in my favor, so I got nothing to lose here by just keeping the sand around. There's no point to me predicting them to bring in Pelipper when I could just wait and see if they do. Now that they're at negative two with the 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 Iron Crown, they've they gotta consider a swap out into Pelipper. But if they do swap out into Pelipper, they also take another struggle bug. They're actually gonna swap the Indeedee out this time into the Pelipper though. Okay, good. It's going to make my Exodrill a lot slower now. But they're negative two with the horse. Expanding force, we're fine. We're hanging on at three, baby! <laughs> Volcarona! Make them negative three, Volk. Make them negative three. Plus the SD. Oh, game's about to get real real. Struggle bug. Lovely. All right. Um, issue, issue, issue. The Pelipper might switch here. I'm going to go into the T-Tar. I just high horsepower the crown. Let's get rid of this thing. If they protect with the crown, then so be it, right? The crown is so little attack damage that I don't care too much. Yeah, no, they're going to give it to me. They're going to give me the crown. Beautiful. Excadrill's the king now. Not bad. All right, what do they do? Tailwind. Ooh, okay. That doesn't change much, I don't think. I mean, it's not great, but it don't change much. The Palper is also going to swap out this turn. Bascule. Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to swap out this turn. Holy... Sending in Basket Legion. I'm going to Gyarados swap on the T-Tar. And then I want to Iron Head the Pelper slot, predicting the Ndidi. Ndidi to swap back. I'm going to leave the Basket Legion alone. I'm assuming it's going to protect. It can't go for Aqua Jet because they set the terrain. So I have nothing to really be worried about. Excadrill in sand should still be faster than Basket Legion, I think. I am adamant, so it's kind of an awkward speed situation. Yep, there's a Pelipper swap. Into the Dieter. Basket Legion should protect here, but we'll see. T-Star swapping back out. We're playing the Weather War, man. It's weather time. Gyarados, enjoy that Intimidate. I knew Gyarados was definitely mandatory here. It is so convenient right now. Yeah, there's the protect. Listen, guys, it's not our first game of VGC. Iron Head, pop, bye, Didi. 
Get out of here. Now rain's coming back up. I'm gonna make it so that sand comes back up. And then this game... It'll be a game, alright. Weirdness is- oh, they get Aqua Jet now. Oh, they sure do, huh? Okay, so here's how we're gonna play this out. We're gonna T-Tar swap. And protect. Cuz, this will give us another opportunity to intimidate them before they can go ahead with the Aqua Jet. It also gives me an opportunity to see if they have Aqua Jet to begin with. Why play this fast when we can play this slow? Am I right, folks? I think I'm right. Alright, Sandstream's going up! Protect is a happening. A weather ball with sand, oh no. <laughs> Lol, negative two damage. And last respects, okay, they didn't Aqua Jet, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. This next term seems pretty straightforward here. We Rock Slide, and we Gyarados Swap. Bring Gyarados right back in. Get this Intimidate going. Now, if they go for the Weather Ball on the Gyarados, that might actually be an issue. <laughs> might actually be a problem. Because Gyarados don't like no rock. Alright, Intimidate again. They might protect again. Which is why I'm going for the rock side this time. Oh, they got a whole terrestrialization to still use. Never mind. Opponent's still gaming. It's Basque Legion. It's water. Oh, no. That sounds like... That smells like it's into Titar. They hit the blind hurricane on Titar, by the way. Holy. I know, it's the last... Why did they water terror then? Okay. Fine. Life Orb. Gyarados is hungry. Gonna get some HP back with the Citrus Berry. Rockside's gonna double connect, knocking out the Pelipper. Basket Legion left at one, or I guess half-ish HP. With not too many friends on the field right now. Tell you what, I bet they think that they're gonna hurt me with a water move on my T-Tar. I won't let them. Terribleized. And I guess helping hand. Good luck. I got one of these too, man. T-Tar's about to fall all over the fish. We're gonna smack him with some hearts. And we're gonna call it a game right there, folks. Let's clap for our friends. Never understood how Gyarados got helping hand, but hey. It is what it is. Big ol' wave crash now. Negative two wave crash, though. Do your worst. We're living, baby. Just for the disrespect, T-Tar is gonna be the one to knock you out now. We didn't even need the helping hand there, but hey, whatever. Terrible last! Yeah, I love. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye-bye! <laughs> Sayonara Fishy. Oh, what a great time we had today. With Exadrill, I, like I said before in this video, I am legitimately surprised it took us this long to use Excadrill on the channel. Like, uh, I'm gonna take you back to like some, some ancient Pokesports lore. Our first ever like t-shirt t-shirt said Mike and Kevin and Excadrill and Togekiss because at the time, Exadrill and Togekiss were on every single team. This was Sword and Shield Series 4 or something. Every single team. And it just kind of fell off a cliff. You don't really see it too much. And it's like in my in the back of my, my headcanon, I've always thought, like, Exadrill is just such a good Pokemon. Why aren't people using it? But, you know, it could still do some things in the meta. It's still very threatening. It still deals with Fluttermane very well. It's, yeah, it might have a space somewhere. So... Thank you so much, Jarl Omen, for going ahead and posting this team on the Pokesports Discord. Remember, if you guys want to go ahead and post your teams on the Pokesports Discord, join it! Pokesports.info down below in the description. Also, check out our Patreon, check out our memberships, check out our extra podcast and the extra exclusive videos a week if you want to see me play some gouging fire stuff or just listening to me and Mike talk about stupid stuff. Uh, yeah, that's what Patreon is for. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, 
Hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. And have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. I'm Ken Sports. Peace out and bye bye.